Hey, what's up guys? It's Liam or Weagle on your Overwatch back with a new video today. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go again. It is roll queue time. Jeff Kaplan has spoken to Kotaku about Overwatch matchmaking. Because I think even though we all love Overwatch still, most people can agree they're either not playing ranked or they don't enjoy ranked when they do play it. So today we're going to debunk some of the things Jeff says in the article, but also there is some light at the end of the tunnel. But what I want you guys to do for me in the comment section down below is do you still play the game? Do you solo queue and do you group? And also in this video, we're going to explain why people don't group because there is a genuinely good reason for that. And I think a lot of people don't understand what it is. So this interview starts off with Jeff saying, there's two versions the community has proposed and neither is fully satisfactory to me, said Jeff Kaplan. One is the honor system version where I queue up as a tank, but I actually want to play McCree and the game lets me do that since overall which is very much about fluidity responding to the enemy's team composition. The other version is that it locks you in. I think that also hurts the spirit of the game. He added that he thinks those ideas are good starting points, but they're flanked by minefields. He pointed to the pitfalls of a similar feature in World of Warcraft, the Group Finder, which lets people queue up for dungeons, raids, and PvP matches according to a number of factors that include players' roles. The issue I have with it right now, which we would run into if we're not careful, is that the tanks and healers get matched just like that. Kaplan said it takes a second and you're in a dungeon but if you play dps it takes like 30 minutes i don't think that's what people are expecting right now so i want to be careful so this is the first thing that i think has to be debunked and i know if i asked you guys how many of you would agree and it would be a lot that you would rather wait longer to find your games to have a decent team comp than the current mess we have in the game right now. Now, I know a lot of you will grind out to try and get the highest rank you can because you think that some of the team comps will get better as you rank up. It only gets worse all the way into GM. I can tell you from personal experience that it does not get better in this situation. So Jeff is concerned about something that I think shouldn't be concerned about. If people only want to lock in DPS and that's all they want to do, and I am a DPS player by the way, then they deserve to wait longer if they never want to flex. Jeff says it's about the fluidity in the game, so if you don't ever want to fill or flex, then maybe you should wait longer to find games. Well, let me know what you think to that. There's also another point to this which Jeff doesn't mention that you have to consider, and that is that if a system like this is introduced, where you search for a certain role like DPS or tank, and if you do search for that, and when you get in the game, you decide to just swap off to DPS instead of healing, there has to be some kind of punishment system in there, of course. Now, this is where the minefields are that Jeff talks about you have to be a little bit careful because of course the game does revolve around being able to flex and swap and have different comps to counter the enemy comps and that's kind of where Jeff goes and this is the light at the end of the tunnel for me I do think people know what role they want to play before they play I do think people would have more fun playing in a pre-made group than just sort of randomly hoping the matchmaker finds them someone with the same values as them them. And I do think people's reasons for not wanting to group are valid right now. So this is one thing that I know some of you guys get confused about. So I'm going to break down why people don't group in Overwatch right now. There's actually a lot of different reasons. So the first one is the more people that you queue with, it gives you harder opponents on the other team, especially if it cannot find a group with an equal number of players for the other team. So if you 6 queue, so you always want a team comp, the enemy team will also have a 6. And you think that's fair, and it is. But if it can't find you a 6, the other team will consist of a lot of smurf players and a lot of players that should be at a higher rank. And the game can find this because it's based on your MMR and your skill behind the scenes, what's determined by the system that we can't actually see. This has been proven time and time again, and it's the reason so many content creators now agree that some kind 
kind of role queue or team queue is necessary. On this channel, we actually proved this a while back. We've done a few videos about the matchmaker, and I'm in GM, Frido was in GM, and we actually got a couple of top 500 players as well, and we made a six stack on all of these different accounts because it's so hard to group with your friend, which is another thing, which is the restrictions to play with your friends. And we all played at Diamond in a six stack. We all solo queue to get to these other high ranks. And in a six stack, even though we had all the perfect roles, the enemy team were always given really good Smurf players. So our Diamond games were much harder than our GM games, and we all started to derank. And then when we stop doing that and we go and solo queue again, we can all rank up because it's designed to be easier for people that want to solo queue. And that's one of the biggest reasons people don't group is them huge restrictions. Now, there's other restrictions like when you play with your friends, say you've got five masters and then a platinum friend, you can't queue together. Now, there is an argument that you shouldn't be able to, but I'm going to debunk this as well right here. Other games like CSGO allow this feature, and the reason is, just because five of you are masters and one of you is plat, why can't that plat guy play with your six stack in the team queue? Because it's your choice, and you can take that guy in with you, and he can play Lucio if he's not a very good player, but the chances are he could just be stuck in plat and wants to learn an off-roll. You teach him the tanks, you teach him the game with your friends. That's how these games usually work. The thing is, at the minute, you're better off going and playing on your own, playing selfish, doing what you want, and the game being easier and rewarding you for doing so. Another reason people don't queue sometimes is they actually can't find a game. The queue times are really long as well, so you can wait 10-15 minutes to find a game with your friends to then be punished by smurfs on the other team whereas if you wanted to rank up then you just do it on your own and back to another point as well about boosting players which is a concern the matchmaker is in a state right now where everyone is boosted you can play a diamond and go onto another account and play a GM and the games feel exactly the same. I know this because I've done it since the game came out. I have some accounts in diamond, some in masters and some in GM. They're all over the place because of how illegitimate the system is. And you get into some GM games with people that don't know how to defense matrix with D.Va. A Zen's getting destroyed by an enemy in the back line and just doesn't know to swap to Lucio or to go Lucio when you have Reinhardt to speed through the choke. And this is the problem. I think more and more people are starting to realize, but everyone's learning, what's the point in ranking up? What's the point in playing the rank system if it never gets better? And Jeff's suggestion here is to remove some of these issues, or at least that's what he hints at, so that grouping with your friends is what people want to do. And that is the fix that the game needs. It just depends how much they go down that hole. Do they go full in with turn off all the restrictions? So you queue in a six, you play at your rank, and if people want to one trick on the other team, they will get rolled. That's how most games work, and that's what we've asked for since the start. The whole roll queue situation is a middle way, but Jeff doesn't want to do that. He wants us to group with our friends, and the way that he can allow us to do so is by taking off them restrictions and punishing people that don't learn the game. So guys, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you like this idea? If we could just queue with our friends, does that fix all of the problems? Because then you can pick any comp you want. You can try and one trick some Metro if you want in a six stack, but if the other team is running pharmacy, you're gonna have a big problem. Let us know what you think, be sure to drop a like as it does help us out and lets us know that you're enjoying the content and you're gonna wanna hit that bell icon so that you get notified when our videos go live. Be sure to have a great day as always. Take care and peace, people.